So the truck's running rich. I can smell it in an exhaust when it's driving and today we're gonna try and figure out why. So first thing we should check probably is the oxygen sensor, make sure it's working right. According to the service manual, the resistance on the heater should be between 5.1, 6.3. Uh, checking between uh, plus B and HT. Anyway, let's go check, see, see what it's at. Six point six, six point five, and the internal resistance of my meter point three we'll call it. So about what are we getting? Six point two. Looks good to me. So it looks like next thing we need to do is warm up the engine, run it at twenty five hundred RPM for ninety seconds. Connect T E one and E one in the service connector and uh, check the number of times voltmeter fluctuates in 10 seconds. So, and that's using VF1 and E1 with the voltmeter. Anyway, let's get that hooked up and we'll see what happens. All right, so here's the setup. We've got T1 and E1 jumpered with a paper clip and then connected to E1. I've got the ground on both the multimeter and my little scope and on V1, I've got positive on both the meter and the scope. So we'll, you'll be able to see the same thing on both these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll call that eight. Yeah, eight cycles per 10 seconds. So uh, let's go back to the service manual, see what it's telling us we need to do. So I got into this uh, looking a little bit more. We got eight times roughly, which is about exactly the threshold for normal, but let's just pretend it was less than eight times, which it almost was, it was right on the boundary there. Um, next step, disconnect TE1 and E1 and do the same test again. And now we need to measure the voltage between VF1 and E1. So this is gonna give us a variable voltage. I've done a little bit of research on this um, already too. And it looks like this basically tells us the fuel trim is what we're going for next. Well, it looks to me like we had a little bit of bouncing zero to about one volt. You could probably see it on both of these coming up and down, but for quite a bit of the test, it was at zero, which is in indicative of rich, which we already suspected anyway. So it's probably just barely not quite holding on zero long enough to set the trouble code, but uh, we need to figure out why is it running so rich. So we need to start thinking about that for a minute. Well, I came to the conclusion that fuel pressure might be an issue and I need to check it because high fuel pressure could easily be putting too much fuel into the system. And that kind of makes sense. Uh, at least it's one variable we should probably get it out of the way. So I've got the fuel ga uh, pressure gauge hooked up to the fuel rail. Fitting goes on right here. This is the fuel pressure regulator right on the edge of it here on the fuel rail. All we have to do is connect plus B and FP and we should get a fuel pressure reading right here. 48, 49, it's supposed to be under 38 to 44 is correct. So we've got possibly the problem right here. Well, according to the service manual, that means fuel pressure regulator and it's right here. Um, we're gonna have to remove it, replace it. And uh, hopefully, hopefully that fixes our problem. Now well, let's get after it. Yeah, I was reading online about this thing and supposedly it's a problem to get it to spin off because the uh, intake manifold gets in the way. So <laughs> I guess we're gonna figure that one out as we go. Um, heard one guy ground a little bit of the corner off the intake manifold, which sounds a little bit intense, but I don't know. Let me try it out, see what happens. We'll figure it out. All right, here's the problem. Barely, right there. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm real tempted to just grind off that little corner. I don't think it's gonna hurt a thing. 
Nobody will ever know it's hidden underneath this bracket here anyway, when you put it back together. So anyway, let's get at it. Is this the lazy way out? Yeah. Am I doing it anyway? <laughs> yeah. Eh, don't judge. Or you can, I don't know, whatever. Well, it comes right out now. All right, brand new one. Oh, look at that. Right where it's supposed to be. 42 and a half, 43. Looks spot on to me. Uh, let's see what it does now. Well, as you can see, the fuel trims are a little bit better now. Um, one to two volts, it's supposed to be somewhere between two and three, if I remember correctly. That should be a correct value, but uh, it's better. It definitely runs a little bit better too. You know, deceleration, it was kind of popping a little bit out the exhaust before, and it's not doing that now, so it's better. I'm not 100% sure it's completely done yet, but it will look into the uh, throttle position sensor next where we come with that so stay tuned thumbs up if if it helped you see you next time